Well, good morning this morning. Our scripture is found in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, and it goes like this. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. You know, Jesus calls us to deny ourselves and take up our cross and follow him. This path requires surrender, faith, and a deep desire to follow Christ, leading to a, a, a transformation that's just in our lives is like we've never had before. Denying ourselves means laying down our desires and our plans for Jesus Christ, for what he offers us, eternal life. This process isn't about losing our identity, but finding our true selves in him. As we surrender, we're transformed into a new creation becoming vessels of his love and peace and purpose. We all need that purpose, folks. Taking up our cross symbolizes our commitment to follow Jesus even unto death. It represents sacrifice and willingness to endure trials for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Our strength comes from God. And the, the cross is a daily reminder of our dependence on him and the power of his resurrection. Walking in obedience and surrender, we experience God's profound presence, bringing peace, joy, and purpose the Holy Spirit dwells within us, allowing us to reflect Christ's love and grace to others. Have you been doing that? Showing grace to others? Sometimes a little tough, isn't it? But our lives should become a testimony of faith and witness to the world. Following Jesus, remember, we're never alone. He's always there. He promises to be with us even in the darkest valleys, giving us courage and confidence. Our calling to be his hands and feet brings a purpose and a fulfillment despite all the difficulties. And trust me, you're going to run into difficulties but that's okay because he'll renew our strength. He will light our path that we're supposed to go. And if we allow him, he'll put the words in our mouth that we need to speak to others, that they also will be encouraged and also to follow Jesus. You know, if we follow him, in doing so, we're going to experience a fullness of life that he's promised and the joy of living in his presence. And I don't know about you folks, but let me tell you something. If you live in the presence of the almighty God, life, just seems more colorful. It seems to be easier. Although there's persecution that may come our way, we know that he's there with us. Regardless of what comes, he's always with us. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. Take up your cross and follow Jesus. Don't follow this old world. Follow the one who died for us on that old cross. 
May God richly bless you. I love you a bit better yet. Jesus loves you. Yep, he died on that cross for us. So we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.